Good day, my people. You're welcome to GRF Engineering Channel, where you can learn about engineering and every other aspect of engineering. Today, I'm going to talk on how to use an, an application. It's a GIS application where you can get a location of a point and measure and also measure the distance of two places, even more than two places. And again, you can get an area of a place without even getting close to the place. All these are done on the map. The name of the application is Feed Area Measure. Feed area measure is on Google Play Store. This is the application. It's GPS feed area measure. You can download it on Google Play Store. The application is very useful. So without even going to the site, you can measure the parameters of the known points on your map. So for example, we are in Delhi now. Delhi in India. So there are roads networks here, which will measure one of the roads. You measure the distance. I will pick a point to, to get the coordinates of the point, and we can get the area of a place. There are three sections in which I will talk about them. We have distance, we have area, and we have point. These are the sections on these applications. So to get the distance of two points, you will need to click on the distance icon. This is distance icon. Let me show you. You need to click on the distance icon. Clicking on the distance icon, it will bring two options, which is manual measuring and GPS measuring. Manual measuring is getting the information of the point on map a known location on map where gps measuring is getting the information on your location your present location where you are so going through the manual measuring we are going to talk about the manual measuring today going through the manual measuring you click on the manual measuring so you go to the starting point of the road i want to measure so we are going to measure this road mother teresa crescent from the starting point, this is the roundabout, the north avenue part. So you start from the roundabout, you click on the starting point and you go through the road. You'll be clicking on the next point to go through the road. As the road is going, you'll be negotiating through the road. So you can see as I'm doing it, you'll be negotiating through the road. As you're negotiating, you're clicking to the next point. The distance will be showing at the top. You can see it. Now we are at 858 meters to the next one. So you'll be, you'll be going through the road. You'll be going through it until you get to the end of the road. You can see it to the end of the road. The road is long. 1.8 kilometer. You'll be going through it. You're going to the end of the road. You're still on the road. Mother Teresa Crescent. Still there. To the end of the road. As you can see, we have 2.936 kilometer. 2.936 kilometer. This road is 2.936 kilometer. That's how you get the information about the distance on the on the on this road. So that one's about that. So now you can save it. You you go to this icon. You can save it. Go to this icon. This is the icon to save the measurement on it. So that next time if you want to check the measurement, you get it there. You save it and choose a name to save the road. Like this road now is Mother Teresa Crescent. Mother Teresa Crescent. Mother Teresa Crescent. You save your work. It will be there. And again, the second section is area. Let's get an area. You go to the manual measuring again. Let's get a place that is very okay to measure. Yeah, this is very good. This area here. Let's measure this area. So to make it snappy, go to the first point like this. You go through the area. You go through it. You go through as you're going through it. You're bringing the the area of the place. You go through it. You go through it until you get to the last point. As you can see now. We have gotten to the last point and we have 715.688 that is the perimeter and the area is 3.18 hectares 3.18 hectares you can get the information at the top this is the two information at the perimeter of the place and the area of the place so that is about that let's save this also you can save it with anything let's just use mother teresa also to save it Mother Teresa. That is the second section. And the third option is point to get the parameters of a location, which is the coordinate the XY of a location. You enter it and you click on manual measuring. Let's just get the, the position of the center of this rose garden, which is here. You zoom it and you get the center. You just click on the center and it will bring the parameter. These are the parameters, which is the latitude and the longitude. That is what we need to locate the point latitude and longitude. Let me just save this one to the point, the rest of point, 
Mother Teresa point. Mother Teresa point. There are three options. When I click on the point, we have manual, we have enter coordinates, and we have GPS measuring. GPS measuring is getting the information of where you occupy, where you are exactly. And this enter coordinate is when you have the coordinates you want to locate. You just enter the coordinate and it will bring you to the location of that coordinate so that you can know where exactly the location is. So that is just about that one. So that are, those are the three options on these applications. And my work that I saved is here already. I can just, this is Mother Teresa. These are the work I just did now. Mother Teresa, the first one is Mother Teresa Christian. The second one that I did is Mother Teresa. And the third one is Mother Teresa Point. So that is, you can just go through it anytime you want to look for it. And you can get the information by clicking on it. And so bring the information. This is 2.936 kilometer. Exactly. Your work is safe and you are, you can revert to it anytime you want to use it. That is just about that. Subscribe to my channel to get information about engineering and software using engineering. For more videos, you can turn on the notification button to get notification whenever I post another video. Thank you.